My book, How to Build an Online Business, is based on a series of interviews I conducted with Australia's top digital disruptors. And I wrote the book because I was learning some information from these disruptors that I thought, this is amazing that I think other people need to know about. And the, the thing that really capped it off for me after these interviews was I was asked to be a judge for the Aureus, which is the Oscars basically for online business. So it stands for Online Retailers Industry Awards. And as a judge, I was privy to the award applications where these business owners were able to detail exactly how they built their businesses and all the tools and systems that they used to do so. So I thought, wow, all these interviews, all, this, all these applications, this is great content for a book. So that's why I wrote the book. And I broke the book into five chapters because after doing all these interviews and reading all these applications, I noticed that there's patterns, there's systems, there's um, commonalities, if you like, about how these businesses got built. And I thought, wouldn't it be great for people to know what these patterns are? So the five steps are in general. Firstly, the mindset. One of the things I found very interesting when I was doing my research was that there's a series of tools that the entrepreneurs all use. And it started to be uh, feeling like there's a club. There's a sense that they all know something others don't. And so I've documented what those tools are because I believe that if you know what they are, you know what other people are using and that those tools are working, go straight to those tools. Why waste time uh, trying other things when people have already proven these things work? A lot of business owners want to know how can they be the disruptor in the industry. And so what I thought I'd share with you right now is what are the, the keys to becoming a disruptor. And the first thing I'd say is you've got to know the problem you solve. And there's a lovely quote and it says that the world's biggest problems are the world's biggest markets. And what I noticed with all the disruptors that I interviewed is they're very clear about the problem they solve. And the point I want to make here is that you don't actually have to be the biggest disruptor to be successful. You can actually look at what the disruptors are doing in your industry and what happens is they create a series of problems that need to be mopped up by other companies. So you take Facebook for example, it's a massive disruptor obviously, but think of all the problems that Facebook has created that's enabled other opportunities. So you take social media creators, um, content creators, they exist because Facebook exists. One of the benefits of cheap technology and being able to create websites quite cost effectively and quickly and being able to access global communities is that you can pick a niche that really resonates with you and service that niche brilliantly. So in other words, you don't have to be all things to all people. You don't have to create a product from scratch. You can actually pick an existing product or service, find a specific problem to solve, a very specific niche, and go really deep and service that brilliantly. So for example, um, my theory is you've got to take uh, a, a bit of a business model and give it a twist and make it unique and make it your own. 